behaviors that will make someone chase you, backed up by psychological research. Number one, compliment others, and in turn, people will associate those compliments with you. Have you ever heard someone speak so highly and kindly of another at a party, and you admired them for doing so? This can leave you with the impression that they themselves are kind-hearted because of how they spoke so kindly of others. When you shed others in a positive light, people will associate the traits you use to describe that person with yourself. So, if you have kind words to say about your best friend or your crush, like, she's so energetic, fun, and lovely, then your crush may start thinking that you happen to be energetic, fun, and lovely too. This is something called spontaneous trait transference, and it occurs when communicators are perceived as possessing the very traits they describe in others. Two, spend more time around the person you have a crush on. The mere exposure effect can be a very useful way to get someone to like you. According to the psychological study by R.B. Zajonk, the mere exposure effect is a psychological phenomenon in which people find themselves preferring someone simply because they developed familiarity with them. When someone is repeatedly exposed to a certain stimuli, they develop familiarity with that stimuli and therefore prefer its presence. The more familiar your crush is with you, the more they'll start to notice you. Three, play copycat and mimic your crush. Do you find yourself subconsciously mimicking the gestures, movements, postures, and facial expressions of your crush when you're talking to them? This instance is called the chameleon effect. It boils down to people like people who seem familiar to themselves. If you subtly mirror your romantic interest when you interact with them, they might just start to develop a natural pull towards you. Number four, say their name often to grab their attention. Have you ever noticed that you can pay attention to a single conversation, even when in a crowded and noisy room? This is a form of selective attention called the cocktail party effect. It's when you're able to focus your auditory attention on a particular conversation, while simultaneously filtering out the other noises and distractions in the room. Like for instance, when someone says your name and you immediately snap to attention so you can hear what the speaker is saying about you or what they're asking you. This effect can also be used to help your crush notice you better. While in conversation with them, try saying their name often and at the beginning or end of questions. This will grab their attention and also add a bit of charisma to your normal conversations. This offers them the sincere impression that you are interested in them and what they have to say. Number five, come across as capable and intelligent, but still human. Has it ever occurred to you that clumsiness and a little lack of grace can make you more attractive to your crush? Researcher Elliot Aronson from the University of Texas found that if you make some mistakes but still show that you're capable and intelligent, it may make others see you as more attractive. In the study, he had people rate fake test takers based on their attractiveness. Test takers were graded as great, mediocre, or poor. Some test takers would act clumsy and spill coffee at the end of the interview. People rated the test takers who spilled coffee as highest on the attractive scale. The research paper states, a superior person may be viewed as superhuman and therefore distant. A blunder tends to humanize him and consequently increases his attractiveness. This means that people want to see your human side. When you show that you're just a regular human being who makes common mistakes, your crush can relate to you better. And number six, hang around with a group of friends. Research shows that people tend to find others more attractive when they're in a group over being by themselves. This idea is called the cheerleader effect. Researchers Edward Vall and Drew Walker of the University of San Diego, California conducted five experiments where subjects would rate people based on photographs of them. They found that subjects rated people more attractive when they were pictured in a group of the same gender compared to an individual photograph of someone pictured alone. As the study suggests, individual faces will seem more attractive when presented in a group because they will appear more similar to the average group face which is more attractive than group members' individual faces. So if you see a cute individual at a party, try getting them to notice you first when you're chatting with your group of friends. Are there any behaviors from this list that you wanna try out on your crush? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and as always, thanks for watching.